Hey there, friends. Got a TTG reaction for you with quantum fun. But nobody's having fun here. It's a rainy day. Filling up the oceans and then swallow up the water. What? What? what do you mean the sadness curtains? What the heck do you mean? <laughs> and then you'll see it's dumb, right? What if nothing is real? Oh. Everything around us is a computer simulation. Hold on. Robin is cooking, though. Robin is cooking about this. Hold on a second. What if we all were? What if I was not meant to be a tuna and I'm just a simulation on your computer right now just doing all of this for no reason at all? What if you just wake up, remove the helmet, and you realize, oh, wait, I'm in The Sims? <laughs> they talk to what? Like four times this week. Fourth time this week. Matrix movie again. Oh my goodness. Ever considered the idea that we might all so, be part of some artificial construct? Of I mean, we have. haven't we? Oh. Listen, there will be things, and that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is, but also. In the two hundred, in the two hundredth episode, spectacular! Didn't they realize they were they were coming out of a flash program? Didn't they realize that they were actually just animated people, or did they forget all that? I don't remember them forgetting anything about them being in a flash program. They actually came out the flash program. They are in a simulation. They are a flash program simulation. What about paradoxes? <laughs> Did you know about paradoxes? Oh, yes. Yeah? The pair of boxes right here. Oh, you know the pair of the boxes. boxes. <laughs> uh, good thinking. Yeah. This will make getting a second opinion super oh. easy. No, no, no. A paradox is a seemingly self What was that about? Paradox? Paradoctors? Is that the joke? always smell like fishes, but I never see you eating fishes. smell like fishes. Well, in the last episode, Starfire is like, your breath smells like a fish. And you're like, oh, I ate tuna. And I'm like, what the heck, bro? I'm right here. Why you be eating my people? Oh, my yes, fishies. <laughs> my personal scent is not a paradox. Wow. <laughs> I will explain these very important scientific concepts to you. All right. Here we go. Like Lesson time. Just about rental property. Oh, my oh, goodness. Boring. I remember that episode. And soul crushing, huh? I do, though. All right. Oh, but oh, oh, with that real seatbelt, though. Wow, what a pause. But anyway, it seems like we're going to be learning about quantum fun. We're going to be learning about simulations and all that. Will this episode make us question everything? We'll see. Look all these real things. Oh, it's a science episode. Oh? Of course, of course, Cyborg would know this. Oh yeah, quantum leap, yeah. Which is the study of energy at the atomic and subatomic level. Yeah. Huh. He really changed his clothes really quickly after that, didn't he? Imagine he just taught the whole thing while in his robe with his sadness curtains. Even the Batmans are sad. I love that. It's the science of tiny things. Ooh, tiny. I'm learn about you. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Raven. Yeah. I'm a man of oh. Oh, that was my confusing. mind. Confusing at first. So we'll it is. One of the fundamental principles. Man, they are already Superposition. bored. Oh, I know all about superposition. Yeah. Fire. Oh, not the series. That is a superposition. Not, not that superposition, but I love that they got the, the super serious face right now. It's time to get serious. This is my superposition. Go for it, Starfire. Oh. That Stop looks that. good, Talk though. Science, not superhero <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh my goodness. The what? Fish women. Fish women. No! Oh, 
Hold on, I'd rather learn the Teen Titans, I'd rather learn their way of super positioning and Copenhagen whatever whatever, you know? <laughs> the Fish King, I gotta go there. Time to go to Copenhagen. <laughs> hey! Robin, what the heck? Not learning about interesting cities or posing like superheroes. No, it's science. Now listen closely to this important information. Yeah, here we go. The concept that when we do not know what the state of an object is, it is actually in all possible states simultaneously. And my brain's already broken. I don't think I was ready to learn. I was here. I was here to laugh, not to learn. But now I know. Mm -mm, I I'd rather like. I'd rather just go to Copenhagen instead. Shall Shall we go? Only the act of observation and measurement causes the object yeah. to a single possibility. <laughs> which truly is an incredible concept. I am learning, though. Oh, oh did they actually... You understand? Nah, fool. That's just gibberish. <laughs> we were impressed because we thought you couldn't get more boring. Oh, my you goodness. You the dick. <laughs> Not the pat on the... <laughs> oh... Did he actually explode? That's scientific. Oh, I guess he gave up after that, but I don't think he's gonna give up. I, I, it's amazing how everybody's like, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah you got more boring, dude. Yeah. Oh. Not the flashiness. <laughs> yeah. What you got this time? A, bo a box. But where's the power of boxes? Box. <laughs> Dude, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm using it to illustrate a thought experiment known as Schrodinger's cat. Oh. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. What's with this pea? They, they, they look like peanuts. They look, this is a peanuts art style. But also Schrodinger's cat. If the cat is alive or dead in the box, who knows? Let, let's learn about the cat. Starfire will love if the cat is not alive. Schroeder didn't have a cat, dude. He had a piano. Peanuts. No, no. Linus had the blanket. Maybe Charlie yeah. Brown had the cat. Charlie Brown had the football. No, no. Yeah. Uh, Snoopy. That is so cute, though. I will never forgive for that. Oh. Same, though. Same. <laughs> Beast boy, would you mind turning into a cat? Oh, oh no. No, don't. Get in the box. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. I mean, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure everybody knows about Schrodinger's cat. This is a way to say if Beast Boy is gonna be alive or dead because of the experiment, though. But also, why have the animators been going hard recently with the whole art style changes? Even with last episode, the real origins, we the the, the art style changes. Here we got Peanuts and the super serious faces back. They're going hard. I'm all for it. Oh, that's so cute, though. Look at these point kitty. <laughs> You're gonna kill him. He is gonna be straight up dead in there. What? Oh no! This is simply a thought experiment. Peace boy! This box contains not only the vial of acid, <laughs> yeah. but a deadly radioactive substance. Yeah. If a single atom of the substance decays during the test period, yeah. the mechanism will trip a hammer, which will in turn break the vial. Oh goodness. This is getting kind of dark right now. The fact that Robin's trying to teach him all by using Beast Boy as the test subject. Means it's not gonna go well. And the cat will perish. Yeah, you're gonna. The box is He's already no, dead. He's alive or dead. He's dead. Beast Boy's no, dead. Quantum law. He's both until we open the box. Yeah, but he, the dead. For his... the real, real. he literally he died. died. Ignore the ghost. <laughs> the box is closed, so he exists in both states simultaneously. That's uh, that's a horrible experiment, bad. though. Paradox. Oh. Oh. You are ruining my explanations oh. of superpositions. Oh, paradox. Pair of docs, short for doctors. I know I said that earlier, but now I got the joke. Paradox. Oh my goodness, but... Yeah, the Schrodinger's cat thing is kind of messed up because... You won't know if the cat is alive or dead until you open that box, but... 
If the box ain't moving, the cat is dead inside. It's really dark how Robin just killed Beast Boy right there. Oh, that's strong kitty. I guess it failed again. All right, what you got? <laughs> oh, oh, we up on the roof now. He is making things super flashy. Yeah, that, that, nothing, nothing. Woo! He's got nothing on the table. Let's go! Just what we've been waiting for. Nothing. Oh, an atom. Oh, it's gonna be a song, isn't it? How did Robin make all this up right now? I thought Robin was gonna teach about atoms, and if you split the atom, it just causes an explosion, and the episode ends with a giant explosion, you know? Yeah? I don't think rapping is gonna help me learn or anything, right? <laughs> what do you get? I... I mean, if this is a way to teach kids about science, I can't wait for, like, the kids to go back to school and they like, Oh, how'd you learn about this? What do you get? What do you get? What do you get? Shoot them through a double sword. What do you get? What do you get? What? Yeah. <laughs> These are big words over here, but it is a bop, though. What do you get? What do you get? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Whoa, we're learning something. I think. I've been listening to the song. I don't think I'm learning anything. I think I'm just bopping along to the song, but am I really learning anything? I, I think. Hold on. What do you get? What do you get? Shoot some electrons through a double slit. What do you get? What do you get? <laughs> I never understood the nature of existence Does at the atomic level until now. What do you get? What do you get? Fascinating than I realized. I guess you was right. We still that... do live in one of them good matrix like simulations. Did, so did that actually teach me anything about the world at a subatomic level? I mean, it is interesting. Yeah, what do you get? What do you get? Yes, it's as I <laughs> suspected impenetrable scientific theories are best explained yeah. through song i mean usually they are though oh 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 they be us too mama wait what is going on now these are our super positions yeah quantum mechanics is causing us to see ourselves in all possible states oh it is happening oh oh no and people thought that one teen, one teen Titans Go is enough. How about an infinite amount of Teen Titans Go? You get Teen Titans Go. You get Teen Titans Go. Look under your seat. You all get Teen Titans Go. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're not even doing anything. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Measure them. Oh. 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 Okay. That's how it works right there. I thought when they meant by Schrodinger's cat, I thought they were gonna put them all in a box and then let them go that way. You know? Can you imagine that's how it ends? All right. Put all of them inside a giant box. Let the thing work. They all become ghosts. That's it. They're gone. Wow, this is so sciency right now. Not the be not the giant belly. <laughs> yeah. Not the scale. Not the doctor scale. Just one group left. <laughs> Once we observe and measure them, everything will be. Ah, oh. 
Oh! You mean that group actually can move? The others weren't doing anything. So they're being the measured instead of the measure -y. Oh, boy. They... Doggy, that was a close one. So Is wait. Me understanding them quantum mechanics so good? Science wait, which really group got life, destroyed? We now see that we are simply one of an infinite number of possible Yet. outcomes. I mean, that I do believe, though, yeah. I'm glad we all agree that the universe, no yeah. matter how you look at it, is terrifying and ultimately unknowable. I mean, yeah, that is the true thing about it. No matter what, you're just one outcome of many, many other things. The universe is really scary, really crazy and whatnot, but the more you worry about it, the more stressful you'll become and you'll get the bad outcome. You don't want the bad outcome. Stop worrying about it. You said it, my dude. <laughs> is, is it? Oh. Oh, yeah, like I said, they all live in a simulation, a flash program simulation right there. I don't know how they forgot they were in a flash program, but yeah, they were. Also that lat, <laughs> but what a weird episode though about science, but I guess it's all just for the simulation, the many outcomes and whatnot that you're all just one of many many possible infinite outcomes in this whole universe right here and we're just living an outcome every day every second any every minute science am i right science is crazy science makes my head hurt but we be learning stuff about quantum physics in this episode episode not quantum leap the show but quantum physics but i really enjoyed it though but does that mean the teen titans that we were following since the beginning of the episode is gone or have they been replaced by another outcome of the Teen Titans or something like that? I don't know. It got really crazy. The song is a bop though. What do you get? What do you get? You know, I like that song. But of course, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a like, comment about what you think, and subscribe if you haven't done so. I'll catch you next time.